Welcome everybody. In this video, I would like to share my experience on clearing the CKA exam and the process, the learning path, and how can you achieve this as well. So here's the beautiful news. I got it today morning. I'm super happy when I wake up. I got this beautiful news. Yesterday, I attended the exam and today I got the results. And the score that I've got is something that I wanted to share with you. I've got about 81 out of 100 and passing is 66. Now let's go through the Bible itself, which is the Kubernetes IO document. Here you have the IO document. I'm gonna open it for you. I'm pretty sure if you're preparing for Kubernetes, you might have gone through this so many times, but this is the Bible I call it because it has end-to-end -end documentation, every little thing to install Minikube, install, uh, cube ADM or any kind of uh, Linux tools that you need everything is documented here my first advice is to start with this uh, kubernetes.io document and why because during the exam you will be able to access only this page you'll be able to access the only documentation which is going to be kubernetes.io page so if you start exploring from here you will be able to um, clear the exam much more with more confidence you'd be able to uh, get this the the pattern where can i start looking at it for example if there is a network policy question you look for network policy from here and then you will be able to copy the uh, yaml file from here you can just copy the schema and then you can edit everything all this will be more hands-on when you start practicing with kubernetes.io page that's the first thing and I heavily relied on another YouTube channel, which is over here. I'm going to open this YouTube channel, which is um, my uh, big savior for understanding the concepts. And this is from Srinath Chella. I, I saw this course randomly when I was looking for uh, understanding what is um, storage volumes and empty there. I started with this video and then I started uh, liking the way the guy has explained the concepts. It's one of the best, best, best courses. But the only drawback is it is out of six years old, you can see. So a lot of concepts are missing, which is the latest uh, concepts. But then you can cover these out of the um, video itself. But then you can get the foundation. If you're starting with Kubernetes, if this is your first time, I'm pretty sure you will be able to get the architecture, you'd be able to get the, the foundational building blocks of Kubernetes, all that you will understand by watching these 36 YouTube videos. And I have rely, uh, relied on these videos a lot. And that is to understand what is Kubernetes and how the architecture is everything. And trains and tolerance, it's not uh, covered. Node affinity is not covered. Customize, uh, CRA, CTL, uh, this is also not covered. And core DNS, all this is not covered in this video. But then you'd be able to read that from the Kubernetes IO document or you can read through other available options. And there is also another PDF document that I attached, which I, uh, when I initially started learning what is ABC of Kubernetes, I had gone through this PDF as well. And they have covered all the uh, cluster architecture and workloads, scheduling, all the uh, storage concepts and networking concepts. In the end, they also have troubleshooting and exam preparation. This is about like 500 pages of uh, Kubernetes. Uh, uh, this is about 500 pages of all the documents and also the exam concepts as well. So this is good. If you have uh, any chance, go through that as well. Then you have the famous uh, Udemy of same person who I referred here, which is the Srinath Chalas Udemy, they have some offer about like 10 euros you get, $10 you get the full course, which is also good. I have actually donated for him because of the work that he has done and he has given everything for free. If you'd like to donate, you also have his email address. The next, once you prepare yourself, once you're aware of the concepts, once you're familiar with the architecture, you know what is uh, services, you know what is config maps, you are aware of all the little tiny bits of Kubernetes. Then comes the practicing, which is the hardest part, I would say, because understanding concepts is going to be quite straightforward. You just learn the theory, but then when you put things into practice, that's when the real game starts. 
I think um, practicing is very important because I noticed that it's not like the other exams out there. It is very complicated and quite um, scenario based exams. You will be having about 16 to 18 questions. The first uh, site that I really, really liked is called playwithkitest.com. You can log in with your Docker Hub credentials. If not, you can continue with your email. You then be able to see what is happening. Oh, that is something that I didn't expect. So let's see one more time. Login with GitHub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So start. You get about four hours. This whole nodes you can spin up up to four, three nodes. You can start playing with each instance. You can use the cube ADM command to join the nodes. You can play with the nodes. You can upgrade the nodes. You can do a lot of stuff with this. You can practice like a real cluster. This is the maximum, three nodes. And you can, of course, if you want to change the OS, you can do that. If you want to change the networking image, everything, you can play with that as well. The uh, play with k has been very helpful for me. And the next thing that I wanted to share with you is a Killer Coda. Killer Coda is uh, the latest website which I have discovered and it is really useful. People usually use Killer. Um, there was another website with Killer, I forgot the name, but Killer Coda has very interesting fact, which is the uh, scenarios. So what you get here is a list of scenarios. You can really go through each one of the scenarios next 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 and you have a good uh, you know SaaS platform you don't have to install anything you don't have to even create the node like the play it uh, play with k8s website all you have to do here is directly jump into the exam mode and start preparing that is with killercoda.com and then if you like to have your own setup some people like to have their own lab you can download minikube and start having your own cluster in your machine that's another option you have and during the exam preparation i've also used this website or uh, this channel to prepare myself for the exam and these has about 30 questions and these 30 questions will be explained one by one with each scenario even this is how the exam looks like here i mean this is where i discovered killer code as well so you can see the guy will be explaining each and every situation about 30 questions once you start practicing it you will be able to understand the the flow of it where he is downloading the uh, yaml.com everything you will understand from this website as well the linux foundation itself they have their own uh, courses but it seems a little bit costly uh, for me at least so you can use that as well if you want and these are my study notes, what I have, whatever I have understood, the architecture and the network ports, everything. I'm going to attach these documents with you in the description if you'd like to learn more about it. If you'd like to uh, follow what I have done, I wish you good luck. If you have more queries, I will leave my email address for you as well so that we can chat and we can discover how we can help each other. Thank you and good luck.